And come back as a woman, I'd want to come back as Loretta Lynn. What great songs that she's written. With her simple poetic voice of the people, she brought a fresh honesty to her music. Loretta just is a fiery, feisty little thing that writes really genius country songs. She transformed the role of token girl singer into a powerful voice for women. Since I've got the pill. In a time where women had no voice, she would speak up. She had the guts to talk about things that were kind of taboo at the time. But the years in between were a constant fight for everything she believed in. She stood her ground in a tempestuous, often abusive marriage. It was one of those very, very volatile uh, relationships where she she would give as good as she got. Dude never smacked me one time, but he didn't get two smacks back. She agonized over the balance between family and career. She my, said, this is not my house. This is I a, don't live here. I'm a stranger in my own home. If I'd known what was going to happen, I wouldn't have started singing. But she gave it up to spend a few precious moments with her friend and partner before he quietly slipped away. Finally, I looked down at him and said, honey, you just go around the corner and I'll be OK. The remarkable life and celebrated career of Loretta Lynn, the coal miner's daughter, on CMT Inside Fame. This year, the Country Music Hall of Fame honors one of the most admired women of our time. She was born a coal miner's daughter but she has become a country music legend, Miss Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn's 1988 induction into the Hall of Fame was but one of many honors that have been bestowed upon her. But her extraordinary life and strength in the face of adversity are as important to her legend as her award-winning music and career. She's a strong woman, had a lot of heartache, but then there's still much, so much sparkle and love in her heart for her fans. Unashamedly Kentucky, unabashedly country, unapologetically feminist and a great honky-tonk singer. Loretta Lynn has achieved more than simple stardom. She has transcended into icon status, known by millions around the world as a woman who speaks with simple dignity and honesty in both her career and in her life. She's just the, the coal miner's daughter, but she's like so real that she opens that mouth to talk you know exactly what's on her mind, and you know that it's coming from a real place, and you can, you can trust it. You never know what she's going to say. Whatever comes to mind comes out, and I love that about her. If your eyes want me, you look at that country. Loretta Webb was born on April 14, 1935, in a depressed region of Johnson County, Kentucky, known as Butcher Holler. She was the second of eight children born to Ted Webb, a coal miner, and his wife Clara. The abject poverty of her Eastern Kentucky childhood would become the cornerstone of both her art and her famous openness and approachability. You know, back then, for people to live in a one-room house, we didn't really know how poor we was. You really don't know it till you go to bed hungry. And uh, you know then that you don't have something to eat. We're talking, you know, no running water, no electricity, no toilet, you know, the whole mountain poverty works. I think one of the things that Loretta's having grown up so poor did for her she simply didn't understand a lack of possibilities because growing up in butcher holler she wasn't sure what possibility meant even even though loretta may not have known what possibility meant at age 13 she encountered a major possibility in the person of oliver vanetta lynn known to the residents of butcher holler as mooney or doolittle he had just returned from a stint in the army and showed up at a bakery auction that was intended to raise money for the school Loretta attended. That night he bought my pie and he, whoever bought your pie, well you, they had to walk you home, you know. So, uh, do wanted me to get in that Jeep. I looked at that Jeep and, God, I wouldn't have crawled in that thing for nothing. It looked like it was something from outer space, you know. And he said, why won't you ride? I said, I'm not getting in that thing. So. We, was, we went out of the holler carrying pine torches. The schoolgirl was immediately taken with the brash young man and the twinkle in his eye. But Doolittle Lynn had a reputation for drinking and womanizing, and Loretta's parents made their feelings clear. But I just figured Mommy and Daddy would kill me. Uh, there wasn't much said about it except you're never to see that boy again. He's too old and he's too wild. Four months later in January 1949, Loretta went completely against her parents' wishes and married Doolittle Lynn. He was 21, she was 13. 
Loretta had no idea what was in store. She was a child. He, he was more than a husband. He was, he raised her. My mother, you know, she knew Mooney, and she knew Mooney probably more than Loretta did when she married Mooney. She didn't sign the papers. She didn't go to the wedding. Uh, she didn't want her, her daughter marrying young. I didn't even know what marrying was. I found out. Loretta's marriage did not get off to a fairy tale start. Unlike her dear father, Doolittle Lynn was not a gentle, understanding man. My daddy um, never did accept Do very well. And uh, the first two things that he promised daddy was don't ever lay a hand on me and uh, don't ever take me away where he couldn't see me. Both promises to Loretta's father were soon broken. The first was broken within 24 hours of the wedding. When playing a game she often played with her siblings, Loretta made an innocent rhyme using the word whore. She'd heard the word used by the older schoolboys, but had no idea what it meant. He left the door open. So I said, shut the door, you little, just rhyming a line. I didn't know what that meant. So he come back and just put me over his lap, and he busted my butt. Now that's the next day. He already messed up with Daddy right there. I think most young girls, for better or worse, believe men are like their fathers. If they come from a, a gentle father, like a Ted Webb, they assume that all men are going to be that way. And uh, it was a great shock. Within five months, Doolittle had taken up with another woman. He sent the 14-year-old Loretta home to her parents. She was confused and humiliated, and she was four months pregnant. But before the baby was born, a repentant Doolittle returned for Loretta. Daddy really got tore up about it. Um, they didn't know I was going to go back to him. Loretta's father was in for another blow as Doolittle Lynn broke his second promise. Soon after Loretta returned to him, Doolittle and Loretta's brother, Jay Lee, hitchhiked to Washington, where they found work as farmhands. Weeks later, Loretta, now seven months pregnant, followed Doolittle across the country to the Pacific Northwest. I think Loretta hoped that when they got to Washington, they would have a uh, marriage like her parents, maybe, or, or a normal marriage. And then when she realized very quickly that Dew wasn't always going to be home, she fell back into what must have been a, a very innate, natural uh, survival. Loretta was 14 when her first child was born. By the time she was 18, she had four children. Betty Sue, Jack Benny, Ernest Ray, and Clara Marie, nicknamed Sissy. But Doolittle's drinking and philandering didn't stop. He would frequently leave for days, even weeks at a time, leaving a destitute Loretta to fend alone for herself and her children. We dandelions, me and the kids, for almost two weeks. It was day to day that I just think, well, he'll come in tomorrow. He'll be home tomorrow. She was able to shoot game for the kids to eat, uh, pick greens for the kids to eat, and basically make it on her own from time to time when he did leave town. There's been three or four times I would have left him because uh, I had a reason to. But how can you go 3,000 miles with four kids and no money? One of them is toddling and one is a crawling and two's on the way. Coming up on CMT Inside Fame, Loretta's dreams come true. Bonnie, my sister-in-law, come on the phone. And she said, Loretta, are you sitting down? And I said, yeah. And later, Loretta deals with an unfaithful husband in her own special way. That's the way that I got him back, was write about it and sing to him. There, how you like that, <laughs> you know? When CMT Inside Fame continues.